how to manage losing trades? Oh, this is a difficult question. But today, we'll talk about this and my problem, of course. So this is the practical guide how to manage losing trades. And of course, we will talk about weekly setups. So hello, this is Igor from FX Igor YouTube channel. And today, we will cover one interesting topic that a lot of traders hate. So where is the problem? Right now, we're looking for one trade, Euro, Norwegian, Norwegian Kruna. And you know that I was um, bearish very long time, last several weeks. Of course, I, have, I had one winning position, but of course, I had one losing position. As you remember, a few weeks ago, I put a stop loss around 9.7 and you can see we broke that and we are going bullish however as you remember i created one very small small size trade it's a long term trade and as you you see it was a 9.5 sell order around around here and as you remember i wanted to achieve um wide open target and where is the catch as you know the problem with this trade is that i have a fundamental approach i hope that uh, a lot of european countries in next months maybe years will avoid to buy oil from the russia because of that um norwegian kruna and norwegian oil will be on price and I think that in next months we can see a strong bullish trend for Norwegian Kruna and we can see bearish trend for Euro your Norwegian Kruna so it was the my fundamental idea I did I did everything nice even I spot a bearish trend I enter into right moment I did everything that I want but as you can see Last several days, we have a bullish euro, euro Norwegian Kruna um, trade. Uh, first, what I want to do now is I will open just just to check what's happened with with Brent with oil. And if you go here, okay, I will change template to be a little bit better, something like this. Just a second. We will have very, very soon a new template. Yes, this is the new template. And uh, interesting for this is we have a small bearish trend for oil. And uh, this is the something that we cannot know. This is something that's happened. And uh, no fundamental or, or any kind of analysis can predict what happened. But what we know here is fundamental approach my is that stop loss should be around 200 level so what i did i put stop loss around 10 and this is my plan so i will keep my trade with stop loss 10 it was the, my original plan and i will keep this in wait so again the question was what to do with losing trades? Very simple. If you put a tight stop loss, your trade will be closed and close trade. Never double or create another trade. No against trend or something like that. Nothing. If you previously had some open trade, you just need to calculate the stop loss. Put that stop loss. Put the target and this is it. And if you have a longer term trade like this one, trade where you can lose a lot if you have a, a lot of lots when you enter into trade then you are in the trouble so first thing if you have a long-term trades sometimes below if you believe or not i risk quarter of one percent so i repeat i risk quarter of one percent when i have long long term trades with a wide stop loss and uh, 
When I risk and I have a tight stop loss and risk a little bit more, sometimes, but not always, sometimes I can risk 1%. But it's uh, with very, very tight stop loss and it's uh, usually very, very rare. My sweet spot is half percent per trade. And uh, this is the quarter percent of trade. So please think about risk management. This is the first thing. But let me suppose this. Okay, you create a losing trade. And that losing trade is very bad for you because you risk a lot, what you can do. The first thing that maybe I do, if I have a fundamental approach and I'm sure that my fundamental approach is good and I believe in myself, maybe what I can do is I will close half of my trade. Yes, you can close your half your trade and then one half will be exist and uh, I will way to touch a stop loss sometimes if you have a volatile market and you have a multiple trades and loss or something like that please close the bad one why not close or wait to see what will be the daily close sometimes i wait daily close if i see the daily close i'm losing trade and we have a for example i create a sell order I want to see bearish trend, everything is fine, then something crazy happen, and I see the daily close against me. Sometimes after daily close, I just close my trade and I sleep well because I do not risk a lot. So I know Joe Kruger, a famous trader, and his uh, famous article on daily FX, pillow, pillow test. So if you create a trade, put the stop loss, and you can sleep without any problem. Just sleep and relax. Don't afraid about your trades. It's excellent pillow test. And that pillow test is a proof that you manage risk very well and there's no problem for you. So just sleep well. It don't don't be I I can just say don't be don't be don't be afraid of your trades. If you believe in yourself, like me in this trade, no problem. But I just want to tell you one thing but that can, can happen. Maybe, just maybe, this trade will be a losing trade. I will lose money on this trade, no problem. Because, as you remember, last several weeks, we have a strike of the positive, profitable trades. But you cannot have profitable trades all the time. So we have a five, six trades in a row profitable. You can, you can check videos last several weeks, one by one, and you will see that all trades were profitable. Right now, we're looking at the moment when we have one trade is not profitable. And you just need to be relaxed, nothing more. So how to manage multiple losing trades or losing trade? Just... Put the st calculated stop loss. Do not change. Nothing change. Wait. The price touch that level. No problem. Sometimes if you see the volatile market, you can close earlier. You're losing trades. No problem. Sometimes if you're not sure, wait for daily close and then maybe you can close. And sometimes if you risk too much, just close a half of trade and half can be ex can exist and you can wait to see what will happen so this is your options so never and never enter again into trade increase lot size gamble or something like that avoid that practice so this is the first part the second part because this is the daily review what i'm waiting for my plan was to enter into um, the buy trade for British pound dollar, but I didn't. So I just missed and I don't want to enter because it's a strong bearish trend and you can see for for British pound dollar and in the same time we can see the bearish bearish trend for euro dollar. And the basic question why is that because a strong dollar, strong dollar make this happen. So what can be your plan? So I will not trade sell orders this week 
This week, we have Forex calendar. If you go to our website, if you go to our website, forex.nrs, keep it simple, you will find this calendar. And this calendar, Forex economic calendar, you have uh, all dates and important events. Uh, if you just go and pick, uh, for example, pick only, only, only dollar, just to find it, only dollar, yes. And uh, if you go here and choose only medium and high, you will see one important event that we will see. You see, it's, it's a medium impact, but please think about this. Core personal consumption expenditure is a very important it's a very important economic news right now this year why because it's correlated with inflation we can see maybe a bad report increased inflation it's not good and that maybe i don't know what will happen maybe can trick and turn market and we can see maybe weak dollar and then euro dollar british pound dollar will go up my plan for this week is to wait the news and maybe i'm not sure we'll see what will be results and how market will react i will enter british pound dollar buy trade i will create to see if we have a bad report for us dollar so this is the plan for this week this week i'm pretty flat on a lot of a lot of trades i have a one losing trade i will keep that losing trades up to 10 it's a euro dollar norwegian kruna and this is the setup for this week i repeat again this channel is not investment decision channel and i will not advise you for any trades but in this video and other videos i'm share my thoughts and everything related to to trading so so please you can visit our website we have a lot of interesting articles you can learn a lot a lot about trading and everything and you can visit this um, forex calendar you can search uh, on this, our search part of our home page and uh, of course you can read a, a lot of about cryptos about uh, currencies about everything of course I do not recommend to trade the cryptos a lot because uh, it's a volatile market and you don't have a fundamental analysis like like here when it when you trade uh, real currencies but it's always up to your up to your decision and your thoughts i'm open-minded because all these years i met various traders some um, are short time some are very short time traders some swing traders some long-term traders so there is a lot of strategies and a lot of people master that strategies and very good in that so i need to admit that um there is a lot of strategies a lot of assets that you can trade and i respect any your decision in any your trading decisions